Hi, my name is Maggie, and this is a video for Google Docs. To find Google Docs, you go to the Google Apps waffle icon and click it. This gives you a list of the different Google Apps. Scroll down if you cannot find the app you are looking for. Click on the Google Docs icon and click it, and it takes you to the Google Docs home page. Here you see a row of six boxes. This is where you can start a new document, either from a blank or a template. To find more templates, click Template Gallery. Recent documents are the most documents that you've worked on, and scrolling down you see more. Here's where you can change it to be owned by different people, a list view, sort options, and open a file picker. As you scroll down, you see this plus sign appear. This is where you can create a new document. The search bar is where you can look for other work that may be further down uh, in your recent document section. Click the blank document to create a new one. Here, if you click it, you can rename it, remove it, open new tab, and available offline. That's where you do with the little dots. Click the blank one, which takes you to an open untitled document ready for you to type. Here, you can change the title and rename it. As you click it, it highlights it, and you can title it to be whatever you want. After I've clicked it, we see this thing say saving. This is how I know everything is saved to drive. Next to that is where I can move it to a folder to categorize it. And here's where I can start to move it to the section of Google Drive, where I know exactly where it is. Below this are the file, are the is file, edit, view, insert, format, tools, add-ons, and help. File is where you can find share, new, open, make a copy, move, rename, Add shortcut to drive, move to trash, and scrolling down, print. Next to that is edit, where you can find shortcuts such as paste and undo. View was where you can change the way you look at it and the modes. The ruler, which could you can take away right here. Insert is where you can insert an image. If you want to search the web, this gives you a sidebar of Google to search. I can if I type up smile. Then I could click it like this, and it would say, then I can click insert. And if I don't want it, I can click this. If I don't even want that, I can click close. I can also do a table, a drawing, which is, this gives me another open tab with a little grid and things to work on. I can do shapes, text boxes, and an image. If I click shapes, I can go here and click whatever shape I want. Then, after I've created whatever I want, this comes up, the fill color. So here, the, the border, border weight, the border dash, so if I want to dots, font, and then the other formatting tools. I can click save and close, and then it appears. If I want to delete it, I can click undo or select it and click backspace. Next to that is charts, horizontal lines, special characters, headers and footers, and page numbers. There, next to that is format. This is where I can find different paragraph styles, line spacing, columns, bullets and numbering, headers and footers, and page numbers. Some of the things I can find here. Tools is where you can find spelling, grammar, word count, dictionary as well as some other helpful tools. Add-ons are different apps to help you while you are working on your Google Doc and help is where you can find docs help, training, updates, and other things. Here is where you can see last edit was made seconds ago. This is where I can change it to a different version history. I can click it if I've done something that is way too far back to undo to. I can click this one and it would show me something here. I can click restore to this version and it will restore to the version that I've changed it to. Here is where you can share it with other people by typing in their Google address and clicking share. This means that you and someone else can be on the same document in different places and different times. Here and then finally are the different formatting tools such as print, spell check, Align, line spacing, bullets and numbers, and the different ways you can change your font. 
This is a video for Google Docs. I hope it helped you. Have a great day. Bye.